What's going on YouTube? My name's uh, Mason and uh, I got a video for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be doing the difference between a VGT and a wastegate turbo. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so we've got two turbos here. Obviously these would never be set up together. I just got them uh, together there. What they'd look like if it was a sequential turbo setup. So this one uh, come off of a 1.5 EcoBoost and then uh, this is a Fusion that's come out of. Uh, this one here come out of a 6 liter Power Stroke. Uh, a lot bigger turbo. There's a big difference between these two. Uh, the main difference between this turbo and this one is this is a variable geometry turbocharger whereas this one is a wastegate controlled turbocharger. Really all that means is the difference of how these two turbochargers are controlled. How much boost they're putting out and how you control that level of uh, you know pressure you're going to be putting into your engine. So I will start off with this smaller one here. Um, so, so this is this is the wastegate on this one. This is a wastegate that's going to control um, how much boost pressure this turbocharger is going to be putting out. It's controlled off of vacuum. They can be controlled off of either vacuum or pressure depending on what they are on, what they come off of, how it was designed. This one's controlled off vacuum, so whenever vacuum is applied here, it's gonna pull this rod, and when it pulls this rod here, it's gonna close this valve, which is in turn going to let all the boost, all the exhaust pressure that comes out of the engine go into the turbo and spin up this. So when it spins this up, then therefore it creates pressure out. So this is how it's controlled with vacuum from a solenoid up on the engine that's controlled by the PCM or the ECU. Um, so that's basically how that one works. It's real, real simple. Uh, if it was controlled off of pressure, basically the more pressure the turbo pushes out, the more it's going to push this and open the wastegate. It just works in the complete opposite. Instead of pulling vacuum, it pushes pressure in. So that one's real simple. Um, majority of turbos, especially on gasoline engines, are going to be this design, uh, wastegate. So moving on from that one, show you the difference between these two. So as you can see already on this one, it's a lot bigger than this one, come off a lot bigger engine. Uh, you, no wastegate. There's no big canister out here for a wastegate. Everything is controlled off of this oil pressure solenoid. What this oil pressure solenoid does is it controls a set of vanes inside of here with oil pressure. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to bust this turbo open uh, so I can show you guys how it works. So basically on any turbo, you're gonna have a compressor and an impeller. And those are both attached to the same shaft. Exhaust goes in here, air is pulled in here, pushed out under pressure here, and then goes into your engine. So this back side, you can see on this turbo, every one of them is gonna differ a little bit, uh, but this is generally a pretty similar design to what everything else is gonna have. Okay, so this is called a unison ring. And basically this sits around here. As you can see, there's a knob right here. This knob, see that oil draining out? This knob is directly controlled by this solenoid. Solenoid slides right into here. Oil pressure comes into the turbo. This solenoid allows oil pressure to go in and turn this knob to where it wants it. So that knob is connected to this unison ring and it spins on here. You see how that works right there? It just kind of spins. Since it's all rusted up, but that spins. And what it does, what the unison ring does, is close or open this set of veins inside here. So this set of veins, when they're all closed, actually 
allow no exhaust gases to escape from around around here when they're closed that's how it controls it by opening and closing these veins allowing exhaust gas to pass through or not to pass through so basically in a nutshell this thing's just going to sit on here and turn turn these little things a little bit better of a explanation probably exhaust gas from the engine comes in here it's rotated around inside of here and whether or not it allows it to pass through these veins and out of the exhaust is all up to this unison ring which is controlled by this solenoid which is in turn controlled by the same thing as the PCM. So that's pretty much it. Um, difference between a VGT turbo and a wastegate. Um, some common problems with the VGTs, as you can see when I busted this one open, it's got all this just rust and just junk. And what'll happen is these things just freeze up on here. So depending on whether or not, it, which direction it was in whenever it froze up, um, will in turn either allow you to not make any boost pressure or to have too much boost pressure. So. That's pretty much it. There you have it. Wastegate VGT. Uh, hope now you know the difference between the two. So. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's the difference between a wastegate actuated turbo and a variable geometry turbocharger. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, stay up to date with all my new content.